I'm the Gentleman Wake, and in this episode, we take a look at a deck that exemplifies what I think we all probably need in the year 2020. Plus, I announce the winners of the Darren Brown deck, the Illusion de Optique deck, and the Raven 4 prototype deck giveaways. And remember, for the best in content for playing card enthusiasts, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. <laughs> Before we get into the review at hand, I just want to remind everyone that the follow-up to the Parlor campaign, the Tale of the Tempest, the next TGW branded deck of playing cards, goes live on Kickstarter on October 30th at noon. It's a gorgeous deck designed by world-renowned artist Lotrek and will feature all of the elegance, utility, and craftsmanship you've come to expect from the Gentleman Wake. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to catch updates and sneak peeks, including looks at the custom court cards and much more. Speaking of Kickstarter, the deck I'm reviewing in this episode was successfully funded via the crowdfunding platform in late 2019, right before the world was thrown into upheaval by the global health crisis. The resulting pandemic brought production to a standstill across many industries, including playing cards, and the finished deck was delayed and only finally shipped into the hands of backers in August of 2020. The irony, of course, is that this deck seeks to act as a remedy for several afflictions, including boredom and apathy, and it's a prescription I think many of us are in desperate need of. This is the prescription deck by designer Felix Ha. Packaged in a standard glossy tuck case designed to look like a prescription pill bottle in box form. The tuck case features several clever and unique references to the source material. The front features much of the info you'd find on a pill bottle label, the name of the prescribing doctor, in this case Dr. Ha, the quantity in the container, and instructions for administering the medication. Here, liberally suggested as 56 every day until forever, a play on the total cards in the deck, of course. The motif continues to the sides of the box where we get a listing of the ingredients, cleverly made up of materials used to make the playing cards within, and the name of the deck reiterated. The back of the tuck includes a few more meta references to the side effects and precautions of using the deck. The quote unquote lid of the bottle is held in place by a blue metallic foil tax stamp inspired seal. This is the second deck I reviewed on this channel from the talented young designer Felix Ha. I reviewed the ISO deck in November of 2018. Both that deck and this one feature some smart and eye-catching choices, although the ISO deck was really more of a cardistry focused design. This one obviously ramps up the contextual cues and subject matter, and it's nice to see decks that perhaps don't fall into the traditional intricate and ornate classic style that's popular among collectors, while still maintaining a deep level of complexity, charm, and thought. This deck is not simple in the way some hype decks are, but it maintains a decidedly modern feel regardless. Taking the cards out of the box reveals a highly stylized back design that carries the orange, gray, and white color palette of the tuck box forward. Within the two-way design, many medical symbols and allusions can be found, the most prominent of which is the Rod of Asclepius. In Greek mythology, the Caduceus is the Staff of Hermes, Herald of the Gods. Traditionally, it's two snakes coiled around a short staff with wings at the top end. And although that symbol, the caduceus, has been associated with commerce and negotiation, it's probably most notably and actually incorrectly tied to the medical practice and healthcare profession. Almost as a result of confusion, the rod of Eclepius, depicted as a single snake entwined around a staff belonging to the Greek god associated with medicine and healing arts, is the one you're probably thinking of. The symbol of the snake is often interpreted in one of two ways, as a representation of the duality of a physician's work dealing with life and death, and perhaps alluding to the continuing renewal of life, the shedding of the serpent's skin, as you will, as a metaphor for rejuvenation. The back design also includes some additional imagery, including a cross, some basins, and some pill capsules. The design is surrounded by a poker border that is broken on the sides by two bands of gray a few shades apart. These produce subtle, if interesting, patterns during fan displays. My one critique of the back design is perhaps a lack of contrast, something that Phoenix's previous deck did very well. Contrast is what makes cardistry decks feel so fluid and mesmerizing while they're in motion. 
However, I feel like this deck more than makes up for this with the faces. This is a fairly customized deck featuring modern and legible indices and wide and chunky pips, black for the spades and clubs, and orange for the hearts and diamonds. The gray bands on the back border are carried forward onto the card faces as well. All of the aces feature large detailed pips that carry the medical motif forward. The ace of spades reiterates the deck and designer's names. The courts are based on bicycle standard court cards, but feature some well-intended, if all too familiar, references, these days anyway, to the deck's subject matter. The kings, queens, and jacks here, representing doctors, nurses, and other medical practitioners, all have the medical cross in the center of the image, as well as featuring stethoscopes, lanyards and name badges, medical head coverings, and surgical masks. Also included in the deck are two jokers, both images of medicinal capsules. One reads regular strength and the other extra strength and features a capsule pulled apart, exposing the medication within. There are two ad cards included as well, which feature alternate colorway back designs, giving a peek as to what a blue or black version of this deck in the future might look like. The black card includes more instructions on how to use the prescription deck in line with those found on the tuck, and the blue card is a blank prescription form like you'd find on a doctor's desk. The deck is printed by the United States Playing Card Company and as expected it handles wonderfully, smooth springs, pharaohs and flourishes made easy. All in all, a great deck for fans of modern playing card design. Both decks by Felix Ha are available on 5.square.site. It's an odd website name. I'll put a link in the description below. The prescription deck is $15.99 Canadian. Congrats to Elwyn Brake, winner of the Darren Brown deck, DB Card Magic, winner of the Illusion Deltique deck, and Anna Jackson, winner of the two Raven 4 prototype decks. All of you contact me via Instagram to claim your prize. To check out my review of Felix Ha's last deck, the ISO playing cards, click on the video that will appear right here. Thank you all for watching. I've been The Gentleman Wake. See you next time.